he doesn't like pictures taken. Just let me know when you're ready. Ready. Okay. Yeah, we're here. Ready. It's already Hi, on. Hi, this is Lori with HappyNaturalHorse.com and Life's a Bunch of Bunches. Eh, Life's Abundant Riches. <laughs> Anyways, this is Simba. He doesn't like his picture taken. Simba. And believe it or not, he is, he's 11, he's 11 years old. He's 11 years old. And, um, People have always asked me, you know, because I help horses become sound and um, healthy naturally. They always ask me, you know, how do you do, how do you keep a, a cat happy, happy, I mean, healthy, and how do you keep your dog healthy? Okay? Well, believe it or not, the first thing you do when you get your puppy or whenever you get a dog is you never ever give it another vaccine again. And I know you guys have to give rabies sometimes, but it's every three to four years. And so, if you can get a certificate or get the titers done, more, more states are letting you do titers for rabies, so you don't have to give the rabies shot. But once they have the rabies shot in them, they're basically protected for life. So, um, that's, the, that's the number one key to keeping your dog and cat healthy. So, he hasn't had any vaccines except for his puppy vaccines, and he only had two sets of those, and he's had two rabies shots in his whole lifetime. And he is healthy. Okay, he doesn't even have hip problems, he doesn't have joint problems, he doesn't have tumors, he doesn't have, he doesn't see the, the vet at all, okay? Um, with cats, that's the first thing. Cats, it's the same thing, no vaccines. And I can tell you stories after stories after stories because I'm a professional pet groomer. I've been grooming for 45 years and I do cats too. And I went to this one household, I'll give you a short story, and his cats were not vaccinated. And I said, they're healthy cats. Don't vaccinate them. They're indoor cats. You don't go anywhere. Somebody comes and takes care of them. They're not being boarded. You're fine. Just keep them a canned diet, which they had. The cats had beautiful coats. They were gorgeous. And they asked me where I worked. And I do work at a vet clinic because that's the easiest place for a pet groomer, in my opinion, to work because the vet doesn't hassle you. You just go in, groom your dogs, and go out and get your money. But she, they decided to bring their cats in after a year and a half and get their vaccines. And so they did that, and their cats got violently ill. It cost them another vet bill to get their cats well. And then another year later, I went to groom their cats. And underneath the throat of the one cat, it was loaded with cancer from the vaccines. Vaccines are horrible for pets. So um, I know a lot of people that just don't vaccinate, and their dogs live forever. Okay, so if you are going to vaccinate, you might want to get the homeopathic food job. Okay? That's the number one reason, and I know I'm going to get bombarded by vets, but I don't really care. You know, I want to keep my dog and my pet healthy. My cat has, and he's 18 years old, he hasn't had any vaccines. And I think he had one vaccine when he was a little baby when I first got him. And he is healthy. I mean, he's 18 years old, he still hunts. Cats, you have to feed them wet food. You do have to feed them wet food. I did see this man down at the market. He bought, like... 10 pounds of ground turkey. It's like, what the heck do you do with that? And he fed it to his cats. And his cats were beautiful. So you can get ground raw turkey and ground raw chicken if you have the money to do that. But any kind of good, um, natural canned food is best for cats. Now, dry food, what happens with dry food, store-bought food with cats, it will create a kidney problem because cats are not designed to eat dry food. Now, I do feed a dry food, but I feed very little, and I feed a natural kind that my cat will eat um, when the canned food's not around. But most of the time, he gets canned food. If you watch a cat, when they kill a mouse, the first thing they eat is the gut. First thing a dog eats is the, is the organs. That's where they get their nutrients. That's where they get their, their muscle. It's great for their cartilage. It's great for their whole shiny coat and everything. Okay? So... That's the number one, basically, the vaccines and then the diet. So my dogs get a natural dog food kibble. The best one is Dynamite online, if you can find that one. That's the best dog food if you can afford it. I use Varus. That's a natural dog food. Um, pedigree is okay, but um, if you don't have the money. And then just get canned food. Use your turk. Uh, I don't like to feed a whole lot of turkey, so I feed mostly um, deer meat. If you've got it, you can chop up the deer meat. You could give it to them raw. I used to give it to my puppies when I bred them, uh, when I bred my dogs. And um, yes, they can have raw meat. But mostly it's beef or it's liver or it's um, rabbit. They don't like
like rabbit, they have to have that cooked. So the diet is close to nature as the dog can get, as you can get with the dog. And a lot of people say, well, my vet says don't give it scraps. Green beans is great. Peas are great for dogs. Um, yes, they can have scraps. And if he, he won't eat the green peppers. He won't eat the tomatoes. You know, you just give them your scraps. It's okay. They, they'll be fine as long as um, you don't overdo it. You know, just like, you know, whatever's left over for dinner, you can feed them. All right, so the next thing is what if they throw up? What if they have diarrhea? Well, we have this great product. It's called Ben and I Clay. You can get it from Dynamite Online, or you can get it at any health food outlets that you have in your neighborhood, or you can go online to mountainroseherbs.com, or theholistichorse.com has the best Ben and I Clay besides the Dynamite Clay. And what I do is when my dogs, if they look funny and they start eating the grass or anything, I just scoop up one tablespoon of the clay, put it in their food, I shove it in, I'll, I'll wet it down and I'll put it in their mouth. And guess what? No more throwing up, no more diarrhea. It's simple. Dogs and cats are so simple to treat. It's unbelievable. It's not really treating them. It's about keeping them healthy. Okay? I'm not a veterinarian. Of course, if your dog is really severe, you know, yes, take them to the vet. Of course, take them to the vet. But the base, most of the time, it's the vaccine that causes the tumor and the cancer. Or the other thing you want to look at is your water. You know, get a filter for your water, and yes, give your dog filtered water, okay? You don't want to give them city water, because sometimes they'll have, they'll get um, lip node um, issues from that. So, if you have any more questions, um, you can always contact